Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. And I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. The purpose of a drill is so that when the real emergency occurs, everyone is ready. Is it possible that I missed the drill? 911, what's your emergency? Well, we all know that this isn't a Nigerian phrase, but how hard is it to get to this point as a country? Year after year, we are faced with tragedies in the country, such that schools have been avoided, or at least mitigated. If only we had an effective emergency response unit. On the 19th of January 2020, Lagosians at the Abule Egba axis of the state experienced yet another Black Sunday as the pipeline exploded, leading to massive loss of lives as well as properties. This is happening barely a year after the last incidents of a pipeline explosion in that same area on the 18th of December 2018. Recall also that Agbule Egba has been on the news for pipeline vandalism and explosion as far back as 2006. It is said that while another continent suffers a wildfire as a result of natural occurrence, our country suffers such worse predicaments as a result of hungry Nigerians who would rather risk their lives and that of others as a glimmer of hope in pipeline vandalism. A sad video I watched of the tragic incident depicted a young man agitated, clearly in distress and unsure of where to run to, alleging that people in that area had previously reported pipeline vandalism to authorities on several occasions, but government had failed to act on it. He called on people on the public to help reach relevant authorities to save them. There was even a distressed tweet on social media about four hours before the inferno warning members of the community of the smell of petrol that had filled the air. Clearly, this wasn't taken with any iota of seriousness or urgency. During the pandemonium, there was also an image trending across social media that displayed emergency numbers of fire services. I couldn't help but notice that these so-called emergency hotlines all began with 080 and some random digits by various network providers. Nigeria, which way? How do we expect a caller in distress? I imagine with shaky hands and a phone unwilling to stay balanced to remember an 11 digit code in an emergency situation. Or is social media the distress number to call in such times? How long will it take us for us to learn our lessons and apply appropriate preventive measures? How many lives would we need to mourn before the government and authorities swing into action? How many properties would we lose to infernos before the evil of oil vandalism is halted? Well, beyond this recent fire explosion, this is an SOS advocacy call for the government to initiate a universal national emergency number, a short code and easy to remember by the educated and uneducated such as the 911 applicable in the United States. If we are going to battle with other failed systems the country is currently facing, at least help us feel a little safer, knowing that when we call, there is someone to answer swiftly. Then just maybe we can ease the tension on God every time Nigerians have to scream his name at the slightest emergency. Yeah, well... There's God. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I completely agree with your advocacy, as in we should have, you know, maybe a three-digit number that we can, anybody can dial. Um, I, I remember when we had a fire, and we were even looking for the fire brigade's number, 
Mm-hmm. And we never, we didn't find it actually. And uh, even when somebody did call, it took them forever to show up. And when they finally showed up, the fire was already done with, you know, so it was almost like they were, they were showing up after the fact. Um, I do believe that it is time for us to, to get these things into place because mm-hmm. we are having so many of these um, incidents happening every single day. And uh, we, we just can't continue to leave things for it's people. All. You know, I, I see people carrying buckets of water. They're acting as the, the, the fire brigade. I see people, you know. And their lives are yeah. also at risk in exactly. such instance. I'll bust your bubble. There is no hope. There's not this. No, no, no. We have to. Let me. Have let me. Let me. Yeah. yeah. Like there is this. no hope. Let's not. Um, let's not deceive ourselves. But yeah. But Chuka, in fact, the point about... I wanted to finish was mm. that. I. But I do. I do. Yes. I. I do agree with you to an extent. We can't even put together a normal database. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been collecting information. God knows what. We can't mm-hmm. put together one database. The way nine one one works is that as soon as you call, they're able to track that call to a specific area, and so Correct. the response time is very <clears throat> short. short. Now. Even if we get a three-digit number, the, will our computers work? Do they even have the information on it yeah. to be able to track that call mm-hmm. and respond in record why time? I, <laughs> why I'm saying there's no hope, let's not deceive our heart. Sorry. All of I'm these like services are ordinarily provided by government at a local level, mm-hmm. including planning, including access roads. Mm-hmm. And then you have a central base where all of them can key into mm-hmm. for connectivity. Mm-hmm. But here... We are busy daily killing government at the local level. Mm-hmm. We starve them of all. Now I can tell you that local government is virtually non-existent. Exactly. Yeah. And so you're talking about fire service and the basic services that should come to the man at the grassroots. If we do not go back to starting government from the very basics, local level, all of yeah. these things will just yeah. be seeing them and will dream. It won't work. Even radio stations have short codes. Mm, mm, and, and so, why can't national uh, no, uh, government Sorry, have short I, I codes? agree with what you're saying. However, I know there are short codes, but we need to empower local governments or we're going to suffer mm. more than we know. Mm. But um, I, the, the incident really was just to say, I saw a dead body lying on the road and I drove and I saw this dead body, but I was able to ask a friend, one of the advocates, and they gave me a, a short note. I think it was one, two, one. They do have those short numbers. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, yes. Two. But they don't publicize it enough. Nope. And, I, I, and this is where we're suffering. You he know, if, they, if everybody knew one, one, two, and they mm-hmm. called, and their response was, you know, admirable. Not only did they find out where it was happening, they got in touch with me afterwards. They checked that the thing was done. We were in conference, and it was done. What I'm talking about local government, when you go to some other Senate societies, yeah. Yeah. you don't even need to bring water with your truck. Mm. You have pipes. Already. The moment you get there, you, you connect you to it. Yes. Yeah. But here, in some the cases, they'll like tell that. you that there's no water in the no. tank. Yeah. You yeah. need to go and fetch water. Yeah. Yeah. The one that happened in Onicha, the state fire service was far off. It yeah. took the response from the one in Asaba. As yes. big as Onicha market is, yes. to tell you that there is no steady fire station in the whole of the market. And these yeah. are all so preventative measures so we can put there's in no place. Hope. Yeah. So yeah. even the overturned tanker, yeah. just even say, the overturned tanker we, that caused the gridlock, just okay, if, some last that thing happened in the night. Right. By the morning now, so last week, instead yes, that yes. thing took a whole day and people all the way back as far as Awuya mm-hmm. were affected yeah, yeah, yeah. by an overturned tanker on Uzumbambadi. I couldn't yes. understand yeah. that kind of thing yeah. because yeah. really they should have kicked into action. Yeah. So it's but, preparedness. Mm, I, think, I think really, you know, we have to spread we have to get this number sorted out. Yeah, it's and then, um And then we have to spread the word. It has to be part of school teaching even. Yeah. So by the time you're three years old, four years old, you're already learning, learning just need one, 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 just one, one or whatever it is. Yeah. Even this pushing government is what we can do. We mustn't relent Database, to do Database, that's what this is. Yeah, about. that's my own. Because we you need can, to map we, out we this country. You can have all the numbers you want, start, but At least we no can data start somewhere. The yeah. US started from no, then, somewhere. I'm sure that when they started, it wasn't perfect. First. Yeah, it, it won't be, be the, the it won't be the number first, but mm-hmm. at least there is a response to emergency. There mm-hmm. is something that we can go to when something negative. No, but even without the database, we have Google Maps. You can track. Right. Most we're places are maps out. Things. No, you're gonna call, Thank God you're using you're the word call. again. We are not we're prepared. We're not prepared, but doesn't mean that there isn't hope. Because yes. I believe exactly. so that there That's is where hope. I differ from yeah. It might take a while. <laughs> yeah. It might take probably a few years. But at least we're talking <laughs> about it now. <laughs> yes. right. like we're Sandra, talking about it now. Don't start it now. We're talking about it now. Last week, last week I talked about Vision 2020. Mm. And look at where we are. We're As at that time, when we told people that, look, forget it, there is no hope. They said, no, no, don't give up. It's 30 years away and all that. today, 30 years later, we are worse off that than when we before, created yeah. Why I said there is no hope, there is no, we create visions, but there is no effort 
to achieving those this missions. This is part of that effort. This is part so, of the effort. Yes, I you have. The That's why I'm saying that. Until, few individuals until can come I begin to, to see government, thing. you look at governance from the local level and say, look, you know what? This government is the government that is closest to the people. Yeah, I like this local mm. level you're so, talking about. No, let's start it there. from there. Local All problems there. are local. We need to empower local governments. Well, yeah. we advocate so the measures can be put in place against the next emergency. After the break, Uche is taking both preventive and creative approach to a condition she and Kanye West have identified as mental slavery. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually worked. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, 